Next on Showcase, we have an exclusive interview coming up. But before that, let's watch the trailer for The Beast is Still Alive. And now on Showcase, the young directors of The Beast is Still Alive are with me, Mina Mileva and Vesela Kazakova. Thank you for joining us. Did I pronounce those right? Fantastic. Wonderful. Yeah, really That's good. Right. <laughs> well, this documentary are the observations of a young Bulgarian woman. Tell us about it. It is, um, it is a film of uh, actually a dialogue mm -hmm. between our generation through this woman and her grandfather. Uh, and these, these guys in, in the 50s, they made anti-communist movement mm -hmm. in the mountains and they were called Guriani, which is mountain dragons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then um, when we found out the, the dossier and we based the story on, the, on that in the film, we found out that the, the, the operation in the Secret Service file is called Beast. So now the beast, we try to revive the, the whole movement again, and somehow to show their face to the to the history because this story was completely erased. Nobody knows about it. Our initial intention was uh, the beast is still alive, is communism is still alive, and therefore our countries cannot get rid of the heavy consequences of the past. But when we found out that the Secret Service file is also called Beast, this was one of the very happy coincidences, yeah, which exactly. is like a magic in film. And so this gave double force to the title and we yeah. are happy with it. Yes. Well, tell us about a little bit about the making process. How long did it take and uh, did you encounter anything difficult? And um, We had some um, difficulties in um, summarizing this very vast, very big story. Uh, gathering information from the archives and obviously access to archives is getting easier and easier in Bulgaria but it wasn't so easy in the past so there is always stigma to what you want to read and why because these are essentially communist files and, uh, but we had a uh, very good support in that uh, respect and uh, then we decided to base the whole thing on um, not make historical film but make film about nowadays with animation with fantasy sequences with uh, to make it young urban people make it as if for it's the from young the generation young yeah. point of view and we had a good response from the very young 22 24 who some of them cried which is very unusual <laughs> because imagine when you have something in the past and you look at it uh, it seems you uh, you have a distance and you don't um, Maybe you connect. don't feel yourself yeah, in yeah. this. You, of, of course, you're not connected to this. But through, through the young uh, woman who uh, I'm in front of the camera, um, these people really connect to the story. And it seems that, okay, it's past, but it's not so long time ago. Mm -hmm. And we are in our blood. We, we have this, these stories. We have all this through. Mm, roots, roots exactly, yeah, yeah. in us. We are not just living now, but we, we have all this history in, in us. And this is, this is an interesting process in Bulgaria. Probably you don't know a lot about it. Um, but this past with communism was really terrible um, and hidden and now swept under the carpet. Mm -hmm. And now the new generation is so lost and they would like to leave the country. They don't know mm, they what, are deprived what to think of about their about roots, it, yeah. basically, because this Guriani movement Vesela speaks about is really very uh, important uh, movement which took place in the mountains and it could be compared to the Prague Spring or the Hungarian events in 1953. All these anti-communist appraisals and this was very strong and very lengthy but Unfortunately, not many people know about and it. And because actually the, these people were intelligentsia. They were, uh, they were uh, advocates, they were um, teachers, the lawyers. The agricultural lawyers, this, population of Bulgaria. Exactly. Well. And, they, and they, they couldn't survive. All of them were uh, hanged. hanged or um, sent to jail. Them. 
And now um, their relatives, they were suffering a lot. And now we, the third generation, yeah. we really need to open this door and right. to go to this direction. I think that's why the beast is, is still alive. It's very um, uh, re, uh, metaphorical meaning. Uh, it's important for Bulgaria. I don't know how what will be the reaction abroad, but I think everybody could uh, relate to it because of uh, uh, because of the uh, connection with um, probably also the family or s somehow right. to to ask questions about yourself. Right. So yeah, something through like this. the beasts are still alive, you hope the younger generations will actually learn a lot more and maybe um, understand today better, hopefully. hopefully. Yes. I'm going to end on a lighter note. Is it true that you played a Turkish woman in a movie before? Exactly. You're not only in The Beast is Alive. <laughs> exactly. Um, um, I, I made a film which is Turkish-Bulgarian film as an actress. And uh, this, this part was, uh, I played a Turkish girl from our Bulgarian Turkish minority, mm -hmm. which during communism, uh, they were forced to leave the country and to change their names to Bulgarian names. Or to leave, the, probably you know this, this uh, story from this the story 80s. in the 80s, mm -hmm. which is our leader Todor Zhivkov made this terrible thing on the Turkish population in Bulgaria. And, uh, and this film happened 20 years after the event. And it, it was very important also historically, politically in Bulgaria. And I'm very proud that I was part of it. And um, we had uh, distribution in Turkey. Nejat Ishler is Nejat the, uh, yeah, you know him. He was my brother in the film. He played in the film. And, yeah, and I have an award for this in Moscow Film Festival, right. so it's really interesting. Stolen Ice is the, is the name Stolen of the film. Nice. Sto <laughs> Stolen like steel. Okay. Well, thank you very much for joining us on Showcase. It's been thank a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you so nice much. Time.